Hello, today I am going to show you how to make this cute rustic table with carved designs that you can use for your foyer or simply as a buffet table. Before you begin, print a pattern and cut it. In this pattern, you will see two sizes of table legs. Choose the one that you prefer. But in this project, I am using the bigger legs. Take the square dowel that fits the pattern. Here I am using a 15 by 5 mm square dowel. Glue the pattern on both sides, making sure that the patterns are facing the same direction. Then, remove as much excess wood as you can using a craft knife, but be careful not to split it or cut across. After removing the excess wood, you can manually sand the remaining woods or you can use a Dremel or whichever sanding machine you have that fits for the miniature. Don't forget to always check the front and back of the wood to ensure that you are not cutting too much on each side and that you are also following the form of the pattern on both sides. Once you are done and satisfied with the result, remove the pattern from the wood. Next, take the bigger top piece and trace this on the 3mm thick craft wood. Then cut and remove the excess wood. Since the top piece is not a lot of work, I am simply gonna use a nail file to shape the wood and then set it aside afterwards. Next, take the smaller top piece and trace this on a 1.5mm thick craft wood. Do the same technique like the first one. Here's how they look like. Next, glue the smaller piece on top of the bigger piece. Next, glue the legs just below the cusp. Um, this is the pointed end where two curves meet. And do this on all three other legs. So far, they look even. Next, I am going to add decoration on the upper part of the legs and I am going to use polymer clay. I am using a heart and tear shaped puncher to form the clay. Bake and set them aside. Next, take your silicone chocolate moldings and here I am going to use a concrete filler which I bought in the hardware to fill the molds. You can also use polymer clay or glue instead of this. But I like using this because it is easy to apply and it also gives a really nice result. So I just squeezed and spread the contents on the mold and then I allow it to dry for several hours. Thank you. 
Going back to the polymer clay, I glued the pieces on the upper side of all four legs. There's no wrong or right way of doing it. Glue however you think and feel is right. You might wonder where I got these other faux carvings. These are actually from the previous projects I had and I thought I could use them here. I used the same technique here but with a different molding. And I am going to use this to decorate the lower part of the table. And here's how they look like after I glued them on each side of the legs. Now here's the mold that I made earlier and I am going to trim it to fit the front of the table then I will fix it with a glue. So I added the foam molding on the front and also the back of the table. After you glued everything in place, paint the whole table with your chosen color. I painted mine with a chalky paint to give it a shabby chic effect. After painting it with the chalky paint, I added some gold ascent on the carvings and the edges of the top piece. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't yet and get notified for new videos. Have fun with your new project. Bye bye and see you next time.